today we're going to be starting a thrift grail challenge. We're going to be going through different thrift stores throughout the entire city and try to find grail sneakers and try to find the ultimate hype shoe for an amazing deal at a thrift store. There are risks involved with this. There could be fake shoes. There could be nothing at all in these stores. So we're gonna go ahead right now, head to some of these stores and try to search around and find some grails. This may take some time in some stores, but let's go for it. We are now at the thrift store Lost and Found, which I've been here before, and they actually had some Jordans and whatnot inside. They had some decent stuff in there and it was kind of separated, but I haven't been here in probably six to eight months. So we'll see if it looks different. Just made it inside. They switched up the way that this looks. There used to be a lot, lot more shoes but we go to this section and I found the shoes. Now, there's a few things here and there. I'm not really expecting to find a, like a grail in here because of what I saw last time. Found some Jordan 5s, found some different sneakers here and there. Nothing crazy, but still some good options. These Jordan 5s are at 40 bucks though, and they're a smaller size. And that is not really what we're looking for, but definitely had to try the store out, see what they had. Search around a little bit more, looked in the cases just to make sure they didn't have anything behind the counter. They did not. So Lost and Found store as number one is a bust. Next up, we're headed to this shop inside the city that's like a thrift store, but also a pawn shop that I've seen before and that they have stuff inside that looks like hype sneakers. Likely a lot of them are going to be fake, but there is an off chance that there are some real ones in there for a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and look through and see what we can find. I think there's a lot of stuff here, like for example, some off-white fours. I can tell immediately that they're fake. Now, there are a few pairs that I am considering trying out even for the price at like 90 bucks, 100 bucks on the off chance that they are real. So obviously we're gonna be going and authenticating some of these pairs at stores to see if we might have found a grail for an insane steal. So I'm gonna grab a pair here and I'm gonna risk it to get a grail and try to see if I can do this. Next up is Plato's Closet. Now, these are a little bit better than your average store like a Goodwill. They got a couple gems here and there. I see some Jordan 13s hiding there in the corner. A couple little things here and there. Another one we're just in and out looking for some stuff, seeing if we can find anything good on the shelves. This one looks okay. We found some uh, Air Max 97s, but they have a Vapor Max outsole and then just some random stuff here and there. I think we should head to Goodwill. Even though I know that this is probably not gonna work out, we're gonna stop at a Goodwill just because I feel like we have to do this at least once and the off chance that we find an insane grail in here. We're gonna go to the one in the city here because this one I've seen has had better shoes than some of the other stores as long as it hasn't been picked over and maybe recently restocked. So let's head inside, check out the shelf, and immediately I am seeing nothing. It looks like it's been picked through as much as I expected, but we're at Goodwill, we had to try it out. Goodwill is one of the major thrift stores, so we had to go for that. No luck here, on to the next door. All right guys, gonna hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Kufandi. Kufandi is a website that sells stylish clothing that is at an affordable price. You can see right now I'm already wearing one of the sets, which is the casual loose fit sports set. This set is perfect for summer. You have the shirt, you have the shorts that match, they have them in all kinds of different colors, and this is an easy go-to for the summer. Now, they sent out a few different outfits that I picked out from the website of different items that I absolutely fell in love with. One of the first ones is these olive wide-legged linen pant. These look like they could be a designer. They look actually incredible. They're super lightweight and airy. They fit really good, and they actually match with the Travis Scott olives so perfectly, it's crazy. I actually paired it up with the shirt that I'm wearing from the sports set and the olive linen pants, and that outfit I would literally wear all day. Super comfortable, super lightweight, and the best part, the prices are really good on these items. Another one was the cotton beach trousers. These are super lightweight and airy as well. I'm really a big fan of the baggy look of pants right now, and these for the price that they are, absolutely incredible and what's great is that summertime they're lightweight loose fit and they fit really well now kufandi wanted to give you guys a deal if you use code harrison 30 you can get 30 percent off on the website now you can look for some of these specific looks that i have on now like this black set right here they have it in multiple different colors so you guys can get them wear them have it ready for the summer and this set for the shorts and the shirt is only 43.99 plus you can get 30 percent off of that which is an amazing deal again go ahead and check out kufandi and the link in the description down below and use code harrison 30 to get 30 percent off your order and thank you to kufandi for sponsoring this video we are at Ragarama, which is going to be our best hopes for a grail because they have a lot of modern stuff in here. But the caveat to that is they have a lot of new stuff. They actually sometimes have hype stuff on the wall behind the counter, but it looks fake most of the time. So today, I think is the day that we're gonna risk it and try to get the grail from Ragarama. That's real. We're gonna try to check and make sure and spend the money and then we're gonna go ahead and authenticate it at a sneaker store and see if we got a steal, a grail for an amazing price, a fourth of the price. Let's head to Ragarama, check it out and focus on just the grails behind the counter. I went straight for the wall and found what could be arguably the craziest grail find ever at a thrift store if it was real. The odds of this being real are slim to none. 
This shoe says $400. You guys don't know, this is the Travis Scott Friends and Family Purple Jordan 4. This shoe goes for about twenty dollars to $30,000. Now, looking over the shoe, honestly, the details aren't that bad. I would say this is 80% of what a real pair would be. It's not bad. This time around, they don't have as many crazy shoes as they usually do, but I did see a pair of Brazil Dunks that I think could be a good one because that's a three four $400 shoe. They have it for $160. So I'm gonna check these out, see if they might pass, and then uh, might go with these as a pair to buy, and then try to get them authenticated. As we're headed to the next set of thrift stores, we are gonna be passing by somewhere that I've shown you guys before, the Hawkins Lab from Stranger Things. You guys know, number one Stranger Things fan here, working on getting in season five, the final season, being a part of that. But the lab is on the way. It's like, it's in Atlanta, in the city, easy to get to, and filming is starting back up soon and they were prepping some spots. So I just wanna go by, maybe see if we can catch a glimpse of anything going on while we're out here. There are actually no signs of anything going on. It's very overgrown. Spring has uh, grown some leaves and stuff here, but there seems to be nothing going on. Windows are shattered. People keep breaking windows, which is not good. And uh, I don't know, it's just so cool that I can drive a mile from the stores we go to and see this. It's time to head into the next store. This one's called the Clothing Warehouse. Before they've had Jordans and stuff here, but they might have switched things up and switched it to only clothing and like boots. And that's kind of what I'm seeing when I come in. There is a lot of cool thrifted like Carhartt pants. There's a lot of cool vintage shirts but there's no sneakers, it's boots only. So we can't do anything with boots. All right guys, it is giveaway time. We have a big one today. We're giving away a pair of Olive Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. Incredible new release. Super excited about this and the rules are very simple. One, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which will be a button down below. Number two, go ahead and follow me at Harrison Neville over on Instagram. Number three, follow at Project Blitz over on Instagram. Number four, there'll be a picture up on the screen that's on my Instagram of me holding this sneaker right here. And you have to go over and comment on that picture and tag two friends on that post. We'll be picking the winner in three weeks from today and you'll get your size. So glad to team up with Project Blitz for this and make sure you guys get your pair. This has been my favorite so far this year, I think. All right, so we decided to bring the two pairs of shoes over to Hype to go ahead and try to authenticate them, see if they can let us know if they're real or not. We're not gonna tell them where we got them from, really, because then he might immediately think they're fake. Nick, what do you think the odds are of these being real? I mean, just seeing them out of the corner of my eye, I'm pretty hype on those Brazils. The Brazils might be fake, but the Syracuse actually look pretty good. Yeah, so let's go see what he thinks. I can't believe you found Brazils, bro. That's crazy. Once you do some legit checking, we trust your knowledge. We got some good deals on these, so we need to know if they're real or not. I know you sell fake, 100%. These ones or both? These ones. These ones? Okay. Yeah. This one look real to me. It's real to you? Wow. So we were trying. I was trying to see if you had a real pair here to compare to. We just sold. Just sold. Well, I just sold mine too. Day, yeah. These are from Ragarama. Gotcha. 160 bucks. Those were from a pawn shop, and they were 90 bucks. This is how you got a better deal in pawn shop. The only thing concerning me is just the logo on the tongue. It'll probably would be too small. Let me. I think we still got a picture. No, they the same, I think. It's the same? Yeah. So what do you think as of right now, final consensus? For these, I was, maybe I'm still 80-20. 80-20? Yeah, 80% lean on, these are real, then 20% not quite sure because they don't have box. Yeah, the box and is it's too warm to be told. Too warm, yeah. So he's also ran it through a check check app or he ran it through one of the apps for authentication and uh, he'll let us know, it's gonna take 30 minutes, but he'll let us know on that and then we'll update you guys with any information. So Khan gave us an 80-20 he thinks of real versus fake, which is good. The Brazils are fake, but we'll go back to the warehouse and check them out and see if I still have another pair of them that maybe we can compare to, but they look pretty good and for 90 bucks, to me, that's a steal for a shoe that's going for 250. I mean, that shoe versus the Brazil, they're not even close. Exactly. All right, we just got the results back from Check Check app and they passed. So, huh, we might've gotten a 
90 bucks. Might have been a steal. Well, see, that's the thing. Those pawn shops, I think some of the shoes are real at the pawn shop, and I think some of them are fake. I think they don't necessarily like really check them that much, and I think they're gonna price them at the same way regardless. But if that's at 90, that means they gave that person like 60 bucks. Well, it's a pawn shop, so they could have given them a night. I don't know. If Cons thinks they're 80%, he said he thought they're real, and then Check Check says they're real. That's gotta be like a 90% real. So we just finished up with the grail hunting today at thrift stores and came away with one L, these being fake, which kind of expected at 160 bucks. That's rough. And that was from Ragarama, who are notorious for selling fake shoes. And then we have the Syracuse Dunks, which I believe are real. The sneaker store couldn't tell if they're real or not. The apps it passed, it was $90, which is like suspicious, but it was also a pawn shop, so they can get stuff really cheap. Um, and they had some real ones and some fake ones there. So I think that these are good, and I think that that is a really good grail to get from a thrift store. And I know the a lot of these places consider themselves thrift stores, and a lot of you guys wouldn't consider them thrift stores. Like, you would consider Goodwill a thrift store, but a lot of these spots, like Ragorama, these were 160 bucks. I mean, obviously they know what they are, but that's, they're not literally, some people don't consider them a thrift store. So we tried a bunch out. We got one little lucky one here on this. And so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If we should continue this series and go ahead and do it again at thrift stores in a different state, try some new stores out. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like down below. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.